how it looks like is easy to answer because we got the, the very complete skull. And he was a very massive and strong uh, man, uh, probably younger than, a little bit younger than 50 years old. And uh, uh, we, we can tell from the cranium. And uh, um, uh, he probably has a, a very large and deep eye um, without the chin, probably. And you, you know, all the Homo sapiens, we have a chin, and uh, wow. but other species don't have chin. And uh, overall, is quite quite robust yeah. and a strong. And that strong man. That's probably uh, related to the environment he he lived, and that's very uh, cold area. Even now today, you know, uh, in Harbin region, during the winter time, that's extremely cold. Sometimes it's a negative 40 degrees. You know. How did it feel for you when you come face to face with the Dragon Man for the first time ever? Oh, well, um, I first saw a photo of the specimen and uh, well, I, just, uh, I have a strange feeling, you know, so just uh, look at uh, his big eyes, the eyes of uh, the fossil. I have a strange feeling. Just to think about and he's trying trying to to tell me something, and so it's a very strange feeling, you know. And I studied all kinds of fossils for many years, and uh, you, know, you know, usually we just take all oh, that's a specimen, but but for this human, you know, you hold it, you know, that's part of our ancestry, and uh, and it's just so complete, and there are so many details. Well, that feeling is really hard to, to, to say in words. Yeah. You studied the Dragon Man for a few years. Can you break down mm. some of the most important findings of your research that were published in free papers? Um, can you sort of take us there to your, the most important findings? The, the skull is extremely well preserved, and it's probably one of the best preserved specimens from Asia. Um, and so, and uh, even compare with the Africa one and the European one, it is still one of the most uh, 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 completely preserved specimen. So we we need to study it in in all kinds of details. So and we uh, set up a uh, um, data matrix, including all the morphology, uh, and uh, we also have used the Eurasia dating directly on the specimen. So now uh, we can quite uh, confident uh, to say that uh, the specimen uh, is older than uh, 146,000, and but younger than uh, uh, 309,000 years. Why is it so controversial? What is so mind blowing about naming him the Dragon Man and giving him a own lineage on his own? I think the most debated part is the naming a new species of uh, Homo. Uh, well, naming a new human species is always debatable. So some scholars think uh, we have too many human species, so all the human fossils should, should be grouped into just one species. But I think this is basically a uh, um, technical debate. Mm. And from the, the international uh, the, the uh, geological code for naming a species, and uh, well, we already have a good diagnosis. And we know the specimen, or we know the age, and we compared our specimen with, with all the other known, all the other named species, homo species. So we see they are different. So technically, um, we are able to name our species. So we understand this is just a preliminary stage of your research, and you are going to take this forward. Can you tell us what are some of the possible direction your um, research might be going towards in the next few years? What areas are you looking at? Well, we actually have three areas, and, uh, and uh, one part is uh, it's belong to the physical anthropology. And uh, uh, we already do the high resolution CT scanning of this specimen. We are going to uh, study the, the deal, the morphology within the cranium. And the second part is um, 
Well, from this research, we can see from the northeast part of China and particularly around the Harbin region. Well, and uh, probably there is some other uh, archaeology site we haven't discovered. So we are going to do more geology work. And because uh, archaeology uh, is not enough right at this time, and uh, we, we need a geology survey in that area to see whether we can find more fossil localities uh, for similar age. And of course, we also try to find uh, some artifacts like uh, stone tools and some others. Professor Ni, can you tell us what are the chances for you guys to find another dragon man of a similar age, similar time and location? Well, you know, finding a human and cranium and uh, that's uh, the, the, the opportunity is uh, extremely low. You know, I'm already lucky enough to study these fossils. Well, I can't imagine if I really have the chance to develop another human. Of course, I really want, and uh, um, but it's really hard to say. And for many paleontologists, they work for their long time, you know, the, the, the whole career. They may not even find a small piece of a human skull. So this is so really a li yeah. lifetime opportunity for you to find him. Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much for your time, Professor Ni. Uh, we look forward to bringing you back in the studio again when your next stage of scientific breakthrough get announced to the world. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pr great pleasure.